Hey folks, Twisted Christian here. Today I just want to quickly go over Coinbase and go over some of the things that I shared with you before and how to get free crypto and also to as well how to transfer your your coins over to Coinbase Pro or if you want to transfer them out of Coinbase. But one of the things is is that I do use Coinbase to transfer in uh, crypto to other platforms. Say for instance, uh, KuCoin. You, you can't do KYC. KuCoin is where you have the prophetic, the Bitcoin, and the also the Electronium. So that's why I buy on KuCoin. You can't buy Electronium right now on uh, any other platform that allows me to do KYC. And KYC is know your customer. That's where you have to upload your, your ID and, and all of that. But first, folks, before I get started, just have to let you guys know I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just uh, sharing information and giving you my thoughts and my opinions. And if you guys like these videos that I make, the support links are down below in the description and also in the about section of YouTube. And folks, and, um, any of the platforms that I'm discussing right now, the links are down below in the description. Now, one of the first things that uh, I do want to bring up at any time that if you're already signed up or if you're or if you're getting ready to sign up to make sure that you do all your security features, which means that in order for a trade to go through, you know, you either have to do Google Authenticator or you have to have the code sent to your phone. So those are several options, right? So those are several options that you can use as far as security. But you want to make sure that you have that security up and going. All right. And then the next step is you have the learn and earn over here on this section. And that's where get some free cryptocurrency. And I, I said that because some people didn't have any money at all, right? Or very little. And it was just to get something. And that way you would have something when she you know, does skyrocket. You know, when that point in time comes, you would at least have something. But on this, you're going to earn, I believe, about $3 in AMP, $3 in Fetch AI, and $10 in XLM. Now, XLM is... The crypto that I use to transfer to other platforms. So say for instance, I did all this and I'm not going to convert it over to Shiba Inu. I want to send it to another platform. So once you uh, do all your learning earns, you know, you go through the videos and you answer all the questions, you can have $16 worth. You're going to have to convert your other crypto, the $6 into XLM. So you have about around close to $16 of XLM. All right, then if you did want to transfer it out, because if you're somebody new and you do all the learning earns and then you try to transfer it out, I am not for sure if there's like a hold on that particular cryptocurrency uh, when you first sign up. You might have to wait 30 days or I, I don't know. Okay, so now I'm going to discuss how to send XLM to another platform. So if you were going to go ahead and, and buy XLM, you hit the buy sell button and down here uh, is where you would search for XLM right and then whatever amount that you want to purchase right then once you once you have purchased XLM then you're going to go and hit the send and receive once you hit XLM you have two different numbers you're going to have to input from the platform that you are using you have your wallet address and you have your memo address. Right, so let's say if I was going to send it to gate. So once you're on gate, you're going to click on deposit. And then you're going to search for Stellar XLM. Right, and then right here you have two different numbers. All right, so you have your wallet address and here it's already copied for you but every time you paste it you want to make sure the last two uh, letters or numbers match you're going to type it in here where it says mobile email or address right. then you're going to go find then you're going to go copy the memo the memo transaction ends in one and seven It's not showing any amount because I don't have any, but there is no gas fees when you send XLM. That is the number one reason why 
I would I think the the purchase might be like a dollar ninety nine and it might range depending on you know where you live in the world uh, but it doesn't cost anything to send so once you click on send and of course uh, usually it usually takes uh, anywhere from a minute to three minutes before it arrives then once it's arrived you're gonna take your XLM and you're gonna, you're gonna uh, go to the XLM USD pair and then you're going to sell that XLM it hasn't happened where the price is immediately dropped or or anything like that as far as when you transfer it in usually if you do everything pretty quick there's not there's no mass moving of the price All right so then once you have your so once you sell it right once you input uh, how much you want to sell your XLM for and how much of it you want to sell it for and then you would put in the price here usually sometimes depending on where it's trading here I'll just click on that last number there a hundred percent you know all of it and then click sell once I've sold it now I will have USDT say for instance if I just wanted to buy any other crypto say like Shiba Inu then you see the limit order you see where the price is when you're ready to buy Shiba Inu you just want to put in the price that you want to try to get it at 100% if you're trying to use all your USDT now if you don't plan on using all your US, you you want to split it up then of course you know you may only use like 25% or 50% depending on you know what you're going to purchase hopefully I'm explaining this right I mean basically the same thing would be for KuCoin you know you would go to your assets deposit and withdraw then you're going to search for XLM all right, when XLM comes up, then you are going to click deposit. And it's going to give you this notice that uh, you have to send it with both address, the memo and the deposit address. Yeah, so once you do that, then you want to uh, click on the copy and make sure that the last, the first and the last Then you would send your XLM to KuCoin, right? And then you would go through the same process uh, with this here. Um, once it's deposited in your into your main account, uh, KuCoin it has it separated where they have the main account and then a trading account. So once it lands in your main account, then you would click transfer and you would transfer it to your trading account. Then once you have it in your trading account. Then you just go to the markets and you would do the same thing, right? You would sell your XLM for USDT or USD, depending on the pair that you want to do. So the only pair they have for XLM is USDT. So the trading pair that you're more likely uh, that you're more likely to use is USDT. All right, there's USDT. You can also do Ether and BTC. And so you would do the same thing. You would put in whatever price you want to sell it for and then the amount that you want to sell in that trading pair, right? And that's what I do. So if I want to go buy ETN, uh, I'll transfer in XLM. And once I do that, I'll sell it off. And then I will buy the USDT ETN pair. All right, so hopefully I was able to show you guys and explain it right. If not, please let me know. I'll try to do, uh, I'll try to redo the video. Uh, so that's how you do if you're going to transfer it out, right? If you're going to transfer your free assets out and maybe you're going to, along with your, your free learn and earn, maybe you're going to buy some additional XLM and then maybe you might send, send some to KuCoin, then you might send some to Gate, depending on what you're going to, what you want to buy. For the Shiba Inu that I do have on here, I'm going to show you guys uh, several things that you can do. Well, since on Coinbase itself, you cannot set a limit order, this is when we, we need to go to Coinbase Pro. So what I do is I open up another tab and type in Coinbase Pro. Usually the first time that you open it up, it'll, it'll have you sign in, but you don't have to put any information in. It normally automatically logs you in. Okay, and this is where um, I have, just to show you guys, where I am setting up some sell limit orders. And I've already done it with some of the Shiba that I had on this particular account. 
so I have my Shiba Inu over here. And then I'm going to take the Shiba Inu and I'm going to transfer it to Coinbase Pro. So once you're in Coinbase Pro, uh, you see where it says deposit here. So I'm going to click on deposit. And then I'm going to click on Shiba. Now, now when you see the zero, don't freak out. It's just uh, for some reason it just shows zero there. Uh, and then you would click on Shiba from and then you would there's two options crypto address if you wanted to transfer in from another place or coinbase right so then you would click on coinbase because that's where all my shiba inu is at so i have uh one million one hundred eight thousand right i'm going to go ahead and bring over the whole entire thing now it doesn't cost anything to do this all right so then i'm going to go ahead and it's instantly so i'm going to go ahead and click on deposit so now I have to go to the market, to where my Shibu Inu is. So depending on where you live, if, you, if you're in Europe, you have the Shiba Euro and the British Pound, USDT and USD. So for purposes, I'm going to be setting up sell limit orders on both USD and USDT. So I'm going to USD first, and you can see that I have some sell limit orders already put in. All right, so over here on the left-hand side, you have your SHIB USD match. Then you're going to click on sell. Then you're going to click on limit. And then, like I said, I'm working with uh, the last of what I have that I, that I had on Coinbase there, 1.1 1, 1. 1 million. So you can see down here, I don't know if, how well you guys can actually see that, but I have it set at different pricing points here. So right now it looks like I don't have any set at like 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 or 0 0.03. So just to show you guys uh, what I'm doing. Now I don't have a clear strategy as far as doing this because um, I'm bringing you guys another prophecy concerning how high Shiba Inu is going to go. I'm holding more back than what I previously thought. So I'm, I'm trying to hold back at least 50% of the Shiba Inu that I have. Since looking at the prophecies, uh, it's very possible that it could go up all the way to the single digits and then come all the way down, right? Or it could be the situation where it actually goes all the way up to a dollar and then it comes crashing down. So just to be sure, I have set uh, different limits, you know, in the cent range and in the dollar range. Now, I don't have any like at three or two cents and I don't have anything between 11 cents and a dollar. So say, for instance, what I'll do is Okay, I want to throw some in at 50 cents. So I'm going to throw like 100,000. So once I put in the price, then I put in the amount, then I'll place the order. You know, even if it only runs up to the 10 or 11 cents mark and all my orders kick in on all my different platforms that I have it set that low, uh, I still have a whole lot in reserve if it if it doesn't reach that high the first time, but I will have still plenty of money uh, when all those orders on all the platforms kick in, right? I'll have more than enough than I ever thought that I would ever have. And that's why I try to say, like, you know, the more Shibu Inu that you have, uh, the more that you can work with. And so, and I do have Shibu Inu on different platforms, and I have sell limit orders on the different platforms. So, and that was in USD, right? So let's say for instance, I wanted to go ahead and put some on the USDT market. Go to Shiba. All right, here, I don't have as many set. Um, and I think, I believe that's just due to the volume of Coinbase, and I'll show you guys here, of Shiba Inu. The Shiba US slash USD has more volume than the USDT. Right, so that's one of the reasons why uh, I have more set on the USD. And probably that's how we're gonna do our, our Bitcoin ones too as well. All right, and it's the same process. You know, you, you set it to sell, you have a limit. Here, I think on this side, I only have uh, 50,000 at 10 cents. So maybe I'll just do 100,000.04.
And since I do have a lot of Shibu Inu across the platforms, um, I have a lot more on other platforms, I can, you know, even if I sell off, you know, several hundred thousand here at 0 0.20 cents, you know, I'm still going to get back way more than I ever put into Shibu Inu. You know, and that's just to ensure that if it does just run up, you know, to two or three cents and then come back down, right? Because we don't really, even though we're expecting two major runs, we don't know where the first run is going to end, right? Because we're at 0 0.0004, or I mean, because we're at 0 0.0003, right? So if it has a major run up, it may, it may run up to two or three or four or even 10 cents and then come back down. And when it comes back down is when we take advantage of that, right? So uh, you'll be able to buy back in the Shibu Inu with a whole lot more because it's supposed to what go back to its previous point where it goes back down to uh, where you bought it at around the 0 0.0003 mark. So I have enough Shibu Inu that I can sell off on the low end. And also I put some Shiba uh, on all my platforms, like at ten and thirteen dollars, thirty dollars. So once I have the price in two hundred thousand Shibu Inu, then I'm going to place my sell order. But when it comes to Shibu Inu, a lot of it is going to depend on where the first one goes. And if the first one goes between one and eleven cents in that first run, that's going to be absolutely crazy, and we're going to have enough time to reposition ourselves and set our buy limit orders or buy orders when it comes back down to the same price that you had just purchased it within the last three to four weeks. So that, that's the whole thing with setting the sell limit orders in the way that uh, I see it anyway. But I think that once I do these videos, uh, I may change this up a little bit more, but not too much because as long as you have enough Shibu Inu to play with, um, especially across maybe several different platforms, uh, then it's a lot easier to really sell limit orders. Now, if you're limited in your funds, maybe you only have a million or two million. Uh, you really have to sit down and figure it out because when the time comes and it does run up and come back down, you're going to need to get back in. And so uh, depending on where it runs up first. So you want to make sure that every single pricing point that has been discussed, and that's what between one cents and 11 cents, uh, $1, $5, $7, and then you can kind of mess around with that. But the main thing is, is to try to get as much Shibu Inu as you can, right? And, you know, this is not uh, financial advice. I'm just trying to uh, kind of give you ideas of how you might want to set up your sell limit order. So you want to take what you have, you know, whether you have a million or you have 10 million and kind of figure this out and figure out how much you want to actually hold back until it hits $7 and above. So let's say you only have a million, you don't have any more money, hey, then at least at least uh, 10 to 20% of that, you want to hold it back for uh, when it does hit the $7 mark, right? But you also want to be able to catch it on the low end if it goes up that far. And these are all orders between 0 .01 and, and, 0 .01 and $7. Now, some people say it might do a run where it won't even touch a penny in the first run. That might very well be the case. But that all remains to be seen. But from the from the prophetic words that we heard, you know, uh, very soon, you know, within weeks. And I believe right now God is delaying things and holding things back so you guys can get into position. And that's why I'm really trying to get these videos out for you guys. So hopefully I have explained that to you. If not, leave a comment down below in the description uh, and ask the question. If you guys know the answer to that question before I get to it, please uh, answer. Uh, from one to another, or you can actually send your XLM over to Coinbase Pro and then and then set your XLM to USD or USDT, right? And then do it that way too as well. So if you guys have any other questions, please leave a comment below or on the Patreon. And we're going to try to help you guys get through all this uh, so we can help you get set up. So anyways, folks. That's all I have for today. I thank you for listening. God bless. With that being said, TC out.